the two biggest things you can do to make your Android feel faster. We're not going to get in because they're very involved. That would be to install a custom ROM, because a lot of custom ROMs out there are very lean, very light, tuned for performance. And number two would be to overclock your phone with something like set CPU, which requires root access. Short of that, if you don't want to root your phone and, and, and get into all of that, uh, there's a lot you can do with a stock Android phone to make it feel faster. Number one, disable home screen animations, or screen animations in general. What you can do is go into the settings, go into display, go to where it says animations, and you can turn on some animations, all animations, or go to none. And what this will do is it'll bring you right back to your home screen without an animation. Uh, when you're in email and you flip to another app, there won't be an annoying animation, which just takes time and system resources. So doing this will make your device feel a little bit faster. Let's jump back to the home screen. Another thing you can do is disable browser plugins. So if you dump into your browser and you go into the settings, you will see an option for plugins down here. And what this is doing, it's scanning the page to determine whether there are uh, any, for example, flash plugins. And so if you have always on set, that will always load the flash plugins and you'll probably get a one or two second delay as your device tries to pull that in. On demand is a good option for most. It will allow you to choose whether or not to run a plugin. So there's a little icon that will show up if it's a flash element, for example. And off is just probably the fastest thing that you can do uh, to prevent the page from even looking for these plugins and attempting to load them. So let's go back to the home screen and talk about number three. Number three is to run a third-party launcher. This is the Galaxy S2, and we were running TouchWiz 4.0 on the home screen uh, when we were reviewing this. And we found that going back to the home screen, even when we only had one or two home screens set up, took like two seconds. After installing Launcher Pro here, uh, which is my launcher of choice, and I'll put a link up to a video talking about that. There's also ADW Launcher. After installing a third-party launcher, things are much faster. When you are in an application, you go back to the home screen. It's a lot more faster than it was before. And plus, Launcher Pro gives you a lot of added controls, and so do the other third-party launchers out there. Another thing you want to do is turn off your live wallpaper. Live wallpaper is basically a video playing in the background, uh, which might look pretty, but every time you go back to the home screen, there's a video playing, and this will delay the time that it takes to get back to the home screen. This will slow down overall uh, the system resources because it's having to basically play a video on your home screen. So turn that off. I know it's fun, but uh, it's not really the most uh, efficient thing to do if you want to have a, a device that's, that is as fast as possible. Number five, limit the number of widgets and icons you have on your home screens. Here, I have no widgets except for the time widget over here. There's a lot of people out there that like to have Facebook widgets, Twitter widgets, etc., and so forth. These use system resources, and they always have to redraw. And the widgets are more complicated for the system to redraw because they have live data elements, they're streaming information. So turn those off if you can. Another thing uh, that would help, and Joe Levi made a good point about this, is to reduce the number of icons you have. Icons are a little bit complicated. They require the operating system to draw the icons. A good alternative to icons are folders. So you can make multiple folders. Instead of having you know all of these icons like I do, I could have four folders along the bottom, reducing the amount of graphical elements on the home screen. Moving on, number six, limit the amount of installed applications you have. So we're going to dial into applications right here and go to manage applications. And in your downloaded applications list, look for the apps that you never use. It's very compelling to go to the Android market and download this app and this app and this app because most of them are free. Uh, but they use up system resources and a lot of them come with background services that toll your device even when you're not using them. So be sure to go through and uninstall apps that you're not using or ones that you don't use on a regular basis. And finally, number seven is reduce the amount of data updates that occur on your device. And the way you can get to this, Android makes this very easy. Go to Accounts and Sync, and this will show you all of the accounts that are pulling data uh, on a regular basis. And apps like Twitter and Facebook automatically add an entry here, and by default, they turn on, which is kind of silly. Uh, so you'll find your tweets are updating automatically, but that's slowing down your device. And you could be checking your email or browsing the web while Twitter is reaching out and pulling down updates, which will slow down what you're doing, the primary task you're doing. So the seventh tip we have here is reduce uh, the amount of apps or accounts that are pulling down data, keep it to just the ones that you 
find very critical to what you need. So those were seven tips on how to make your Android feel faster. None of them are too extreme. They're all very small and incremental, but taken collectively, they can really help to bring back uh, a little bit of, of speed to, to the Android operating system.